fun. Right then, the old back stats, the L stats, the cat stats, call it what you will. Some say 70% of the weight on the back leg, 30 on the front. Ugh. I say, well, I don't know, do you want to do that? Oh, so if you try and sweep your leg, you can lift it. Yeah, you can do that in pub fights. Well, load of rubbish. I've been waiting over 40, a very long time, well over 40 years, for somebody to sweep while I'm in this stance. It's not happened yet, so it's rubbish. <laughs> but there's stuff in there. If you've got energy, if we go back a few hundred years, and we're at Okinawa, we're in China, we're in Japan, you're next to a beautiful waterfall, you've got clean, un your food's good, your water's good, you're going to get energy in the meridians. And when you put weight on one leg, it'll stimulate that kidney meridians, make it very stable. So maybe this is an old way of rooting. So, Ruth's not done any energy exercises yet, so if you make me do a little cat stance, so L, put some weight on that back hip. I'm just going to give you a shove from this way, and that's it, perfectly normal. And we'll get a better angle for the next one. So, putting weight on one hip is also to do with balance, because you're putting weight on one hip, but you haven't got the energy. Okay, right. If you relax, that's a long way to do what we try to do. Bruce Lee said, if you lift your big toes, it makes you faster. Now, I, I, I mean, I heard this decades ago, and I thought, well, how can you move? Well, maybe it's not moving your feet, maybe it's your punching. So, if we're stimulating meridians, and the big toe is liver and spleen, if we stimulate the nose and get an energy field, it should make you rooted and give you the speed. Because we know if you do the rooting stuff, hit, boom, wave, bang. Seems like meridians, it's a lot faster. So if you face the camera, stand all normal, you do a little shove. And this is without any energy. This is not with any cheek on. So we want to do it before. So if you can lift your big toes. <laughs> Ruth's having trouble lifting your big toes, but I think <laughs> just the struggle will stimulate something. Are we good? Yeah. And by Jove, it's worked. So, lift your big toe and it'll make it more stable. Is it practical? Probably not. But put a knife edge on your foot when you're doing a side kick. Sweet. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Ruth. <laughs> We're going to do a balance check, then we're going to do the first form and recheck. So, Ruth, what we'd like you to do is stick an arm out. Yeah, that one. Lift that right, that right leg. Mm -hmm. and balance yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, some Muppets on the internet say I was pulling them. I'm pushing down, but because Ruth's falling that way, it looks like I'm pushing straight down. Can we do it again, please? Yeah. Yeah. Perfectly normal. Now we're going to do the first kata and see if that improves. Thank you very much. Now we've got some energy, let's do the balance test again. So if you face you on the camera, stick this on arm out. Strong. <laughs> Lift your right leg. Okay. Then we check. And I'm pushing incredibly strong. I'm rock pushing, rock pulling, I'm pushing down. So your balance increases when you get some good energy in the meridians. Now, triggering this effect. It was triggered because of weight on one leg. Triggers kidney, blood and meridians to do with the psoas muscle. So if we do, if you come a bit forward this time of the roof, give it an L stance. I put some weight on your back leg, so you're sitting over that back hip. Now, before I just went push on oh, now I'm thinking, not too wide. That's it. Right. Got weight on that back hip. So we check in. Ah. Silly. And just to prove it is energy, if you do it again, you, you good? Mm -hmm. If I adopt the same energy field by stimulating similar meridians, now we're equal, 
And I just go like that, and oh, we go. Thank you very much. Energy bubbles, stimulating meridians.